Good morning, my dear students. Assalamu alaikum. I hope that you all are fine. This is your Islamiyat lesson, and today's topic is respect for parents. So, it is as you can see in the screen. It is written written work question number three and four. So it means that you need your Islamiyat notebook with you and. Also bring your textbook of Islamiyat and your stationery stuff. So we can start our work. So today's topic is respect for parents, which is mentioned on page number 22 till 25 of your textbook. As you know that respect for parent is a wide topic and what we are going to do is today is we are going to discuss some important points which are already discussed in this chapter and what we are going to do next is we are going to do our question number three and four of this exercise so let's see what is learning objective for today today's learning objective is reinforcement of the topic through written work so it means that we are going to do written work that's why you need your Islamiyat notebook with you so let's start some doing some discussion points the greatest blessing of Allah for us is our parents yes it is very true that Allah the Almighty loves us more than anyone else but after Allah the Almighty our parents are only who are going to love us more than anyone and who are going to take care of us in this wide world our parents work hard to fulfill our needs it is so important to know the importance of the hard work of our parent that our father works hard day and night to earn money to support us and with this earned money our parents educate us and buy our clothes uniforms shoes books bags and food you know my dear students the greatest blessing that Allah the Almighty has given us are our parents they love us deeply you know when we are babies they look after our needs feeding us cleaning us and also giving us a comfortable life as we grow up our mother cooks delicious food for us is it true yes it is okay look at the next one as you can see in the screen they provide us everything what we need yes it is because whenever we need anything, they provide us. Our parents provide us everything, whatever we need. Our father works hard to earn money for us. Yes, it is true that our father works hard day and night to earn money and to support us. So he can earn much money for uh, give us the good life to educate us, to buy us clothes and uniforms and shoes and each and everything whatever we need okay now what we are going to do is as you remember that in the page number 24 of your textbook there is a story mentioned so I want to repeat this story and I want to read this story in my own words okay I'm going to tell you it this story in my own words so you can remember it again okay once there was a little boy okay I'm telling you this story because our question number three and four is about the boy which is mentioned in this story okay so just listen me carefully so there was a little boy who loved his parents very much you know what happened one day one day his mother woke up from her sleep and asked him to fetch a glass of water but by the time he brought it she had dropped off to sleep again then what the boy did he didn't go anywhere and he didn't sleep whole night he was standing over there where his mother was laying and sleeping so he was standing over there thinking that when my mother will hook up what will happen if she needs some water so that's why he was standing over there but what happened when his mother woke up she was so shocked to see him standing by her side 
You know why she was shocked? She was shocked to see that my son is standing here and he stood here whole night. It means that he didn't sleep. That's why the mother was in shock. Okay, what happened next? The mother asked him about it. She asked that why are you standing here still? So what was the reply? It was so beautiful that the man, the boy said. So the boy answered his mother that I was waiting because I did not know when you will wake up and ask for water again. You know, this was the reply of the boy. He was so obedient and he was so respectful towards his mama, towards his mother that he was standing over there whole night and he said that I was waiting for you because I didn't know when you are going to wake up and ask for the water again. His mother was very happy and she prayed a lot for him. Then, you know what happened in the future? The little boy up to be a great and well-known scholar. All his fame and respect was due to his mother's blessings. Okay, so it is the reward from Allah the Almighty that whenever we are going to respect our parents and when we are going to listen them, we are going to obey them, Allah the Almighty showers his all blessings upon us. Okay, so this was the story. Now we are going to do the questions about it. But before starting our question, I have some question for you. Think and answer. Now just think about it and answer me. So the very first one is, how should we behave in front of our parents? What are you thinking? Yes, you are thinking right. We should always be respected in front of our parents and we should always behave nicely in front of them. We should not shout at them and we should never ever scream at them. We should always love them and we should always talk to them with lovely words, not with the harsh words, okay? Look at the second one in the screen. Can you see that? How do those, uh, disobedient children suffer? How do disobedient children suffer? Do you know? How do they suffer? The children who disobey their parents, they always have a lot of problems and troubles in their life. You know why? Because they do not make their mother and father happy. So that's why they do not get their prayers and blessings. So in the future, they always have troubles and they always have a lot of problems and difficulties. So that's why Allah the Almighty says that you should take care of your parents as they have done in your childhood. Okay? Now, let's move to our written work. Just take out your Islamic notebook. Now, at the very first point, priority what we are going to do is we are going to write down today's day and date and classwork at the top of the page as we always do in the classroom i hope you are doing it nicely before starting written work just sharp your pencil and do not erase it again and again write it nicely wednesdays w would be capital then write down classwork in the center of the page at the top. Classwork C would be capital. Okay, now move towards the date. Write down today's date and it is 2nd December, 2020. Just complete this date, write this date on the same page on which we are going to do the work. Okay, do not write it in the next page. Alright, now what is today's topic? Today's topic is respect for parents. You can write this topic in the center of the page, in the center of the line, the first line, okay? Topic, respect for parents. 
Now underline it nicely with a color pencil. Now just move towards the other line, the next one and write down answer these questions. I hope you have written it nicely. Then now we are going to move towards this question. Is it mentioned on page number 25 of your textbook as you can see and this question is for what reason did Allah give him fame and respect? Just write it nicely. After writing answer these questions you can leave one line. Okay then you can start writing question number one and question number one is for what reason did Allah give him fame and respect? Do not forget to put question mark at the end of the question. Okay. I hope you are writing nicely. Written. Very good. Okay. Now answer of this question is all the fame and respect of the little boy was due to his mother's blessings. I am repeating this question again. Question is for what reason did Allah give him fame and respect? Do you know about whom we are talking here? We are talking about the boy who was very respectful towards his mother. Okay, here in this question him means that boy. For what reason did Allah give him fame and respect? So the answer is all the fame and respect of the little boy was due to his mother's blessings. Just write it nicely. Writing should be very neat and clean. I will check your classwork when you are going to come back to the school. Okay, so that's why you have to complete this work nicely. I hope you have written. If you have written it, just recheck it I'm reading it again just recheck that if you have done correctly or if there is any mistake so you can erase it and you can correct it okay so question number one is for what reason did Allah give him fame and respect and the answer is all the fame and respect of the little boy was due to his mother's blessings So let's move towards the other question. Look at page number 25 of your textbook. This question is mentioned over there. And this question is what does Allah the Almighty say about parents? What does Allah the Almighty say about parents? Okay, just write this in a nice way. This is question number two here in your classwork. Okay. And answer of this question is so easy. This is Allah says and that you be kind to your parents. And this is the translation of a verse, verse number 23 of Surah, Surah Bani Israel. Okay. So this is the translation of a verse which is mentioned in Holy Quran. Okay. So this answer is Allah says and that you be kind to your parents. Surah Bani Israel verse number is 23. This answer is also mentioned on page number 25 at the top. So you can see from there as well or otherwise you can see from the screen clearly. So you can write it nicely in your Islamiyat notebook. Why we are writing this verse translation in inverted commas? Can you see that? There are inverted commas before the word and and after the word parents. We always write the translation in inverted commas. It means that we cannot change the meaning of it. Definitely we cannot change the meaning of any verse mentioned in Holy Quran. Because it is written by Allah the Almighty so we are not allowed to change it that's why we are writing it in inverted commas that it is unchangeable okay 
Just write this answer nicely. Allah says, put a comma, go to the next line in the middle and write down this verse translation in inverted commas. And that you be kind to your parents. Surah Bani Israel, comma, verse, verse number is 23. Have you done it? Just do it nicely. I hope that you have done question number 1 and 2 as well in a nice writing. Now as you remember that we have already done question number 1 and 2 of this exercise mentioned on page number 25 of your textbook of Islamia. We have already done it in classroom. This is what we are going today is we are going question number 3 and 4 in our this class in online class in recorded lesson okay so just complete this it means that now we have done with this exercise all the four questions are done I'm going to repeat question number one again for you so you can check and if you have not written just write it nicely first of all what we are going to do is we are going to make our page prepare for the written work first we are going to do the write the date and day and topic and today's topic is respect for parents make sure that you have underlined it nicely with a color pencil so it will good uh, it will uh, give us a good look to see then move towards the other line the next one and write down answer these questions and put a full stop here answer these questions now you can leave one line and start writing question number one and question number one is Now, what you are going to do is, you are going to write down question number one and this is, for what reason did Allah give him fame and respect? You know, about whom we are talking about? We are talking about the boy who was very respectful towards his parents and who was serving his mother nicely. So we are talking about that boy, okay, in question number one. And answer is, all the fame and respect of the little boy was due to his mother's blessings. Yes, he got the fame and respect in his future and it was just because of that he was very obeying and he was very good towards his parents. That's why Allah the Almighty has given so many blessings to him so the answer is all the fame and respect of the little boy was due to his mother's blessings look at the other question this is question number two you can leave one line after writing the answer of question number one then you can start writing this question question number two what does Allah the Almighty say about parents Allah says and that you be kind to your parents. Surah Bani Israel and verse number is 23. I hope that you have written in a nice way. You have to write this surah name and verse in a bracket. Okay. Just do it nicely. Okay. Let's have a little a brief uh, recap of the topic that what we have learned in this topic, respect for parents. So, do you know that what are the teachings of Islam about parents? The teachings of Islam about parents are so clear that we should take care of our parents and when they are old, we should not scream at them, we should not shout at them, we should always talk to them nicely in a polite way 
okay so that's why allah the almighty says that if you love your parents and if you will respect and you will obey your parents then you are going to get the countless blessings in this world and even after this world okay there are some teachings of islam i want to share with you that never become obstinate with your parents it means that never become angry with your parents and never scream at them never shout at them always respect them because they were only when you were baby when you are a little kid they were taking care of you they were giving you food and they were feeding you they were cleaning you that's why it is our moral duty to respect them and to take care of them when they are old and when they need you and also love them deeply these are teachings of islam about parents that allah the almighty says that love them deeply as they loved you when you were a child and one more important thing is that listen to them and obey them obey them means that always listen to them always do whatever they are saying okay as i told you a story and you also remember do you remember that about whom this story is yes this story is about sheikh abdul qadir jilani so this is very nice story you can even dictate this story to anyone to your siblings even you can tell them a story this is so nice that we should always obey our parents we should always listen to them as they are so good to us do you know that what our holy prophet hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said to us he said that one who looks lovingly at his parents even once will be rewarded as if he had performed hajj you know that hajj is a pillar of islam it is one of the five pillars of islam and about hajj hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if you are seeing your parents lovingly nicely with a beautiful smile it means that you are going to get so much reward you are going to get so many blessings from allah the almighty okay so if you will just smile and look at your parents with a beautiful smile it means that allah the almighty has uh, is going to give you reward of a hajj isn't it so beautiful that allah the almighty is going to give us so much reward a very huge reward just because we are seeing our parents lovingly and do you know that children who love and please their parents they also please allah the almighty and he makes everything easy that is difficult for them and they are respected and liked by everyone why do you know why it is blessing of allah that if a kid is going to respect his parents then allah the almighty is going to give so much respect to him in this world and after that even and if he is going to do anything and there are some difficulties or there are some plans of enemies they will be shattered they will be vanished it means that they will be removed by allah the almighty's blessings and what about the children that who do not listen their parents do you know what happened to them yes you are thinking right the children who disobey their parents always have a lot of problems and troubles in their lives and they can no do anything properly in their lives why do you know do you know why the reason is because their parents didn't pray for them or they didn't take their prayers they didn't do anything good so that their parents could ever just bless them that's why they are going to have and they are going to face a lot of problems and difficulties and troubles in their lives that's why we should always respect our parents do you promise me that you are going to uh, love your parents and listen to them properly yes very good we should always respect our parents i hope that you have done with the written work question number 3 and 4 is done if you have not done just do it okay 
but i really hope that you have done i hope that all the points are clear to you and all the questions are done now now just take care of your parents to yourself and also take care of your siblings and do not forget to tell this story to your siblings okay the story of sheikh abdul qadir jilani you have to tell this to your siblings so they can also respect your parents as you 